Whoa, you scared the shit out of me. You scared the crap out of me. Well, you are full Look of crap. You. Look at this guy. Hi, I'm Al Watson, Dirty Shed Creations. Let's get going! <laughs> Mate, okay, come on then. Um, do you want to do anything first? Do you want to do the... What about the giveaway? The yeah, I've got a list in my pocket. Cool, okay. Uh, it's, it's all taken care of. I think this project's just grown a touch. Ah, okay. Because I hadn't seen the piece of oak we're using, and it's just ripe for butterfly ties. I'm sorry, it's just like, it's. I think in there are motif. You'll see in a minute anyway. Cool. Come on then. Look at this. So... Okay. Go on then, straight into it. What are we doing today, big fella? Well, I was going to call it our, come on, we were going to say, and unfortunately I think this has gone out of the window, so you know, maybe this whole thing's a bit pointless, but this could be what we're going to call a morning project, so a four hour project. What can we do in four hours? Let's show you what we've got. Yeah, go. What we're going to do today is, bang, we're going to use a load of stuff that we've sourced at a car boot sale, very, very reasonably priced and we're gonna make a nice, interesting light. Side light, table lamp, side lamp really. So what's that entailing then today? What we got on? What, what can the fans expect? What can the fans, I was gonna call them the kind of dirty shed marauders, I quite like that, ah. but anyway. Uh, it's cold today in the shed, so there will be blacksmithing. What we're gonna end up doing is having a nice big shepherd's crook hook here, which this kind of dangles from up here and the light will be all, you know, it's gonna be amazing. We've got a little bit of machining to do. This fits up inside here. This was originally a paraffin lamp, but it's had all its guts taken out. It's as we got it. We paid at a car boot sale last summer, 10 pounds for that. So that's about, would that be about 12 or $13? Who so, knows with yeah, their, who knows. their situation at the moment? Well, yeah, it's all over the place. Um, uh, because we we at Dirty Sheds like to monitor. We at Dirty Sheds like to monitor the dollar price. Beautiful little what I think is a copper and brass masthead lamp. Um, I like to buy these when they're complete. There's no chips in the glass. So you know we're looking at a lamp here that's nearly a hundred years old. Uh, we're just going to repurpose it. You know, people will say, oh, you can sit there and repolish these things up. I don't like to do that. I think this looks just right the way it is. We obviously will clean it and we'll give it a rub over with some um, solvents just to pull off that kind of, uh, pull off the dust, really. But we're not going to sit here and polish this up so it's gleaming. I think that'll look wrong. It wants to look exactly like it does there. Uh, we haven't then degraded the value of this. Second part is this. So these are a B22 brass bayonet fitting attachment. Again, that fitting, over 70 years old, pre-Second World War, 70, 80 years old. There are that many out, out there, this is what the guy in the wholesaler said to me, there are that many of those out there that they still make the component today. And all the screw threads on this are exactly the same as the screw threads on the modern ones. I've just used, I've kind of cannibalized one to make two. Um, because this, the original was missing a pin. So look at that, can you believe it? We've actually managed to find the pins that go in there. Oh. Exactly the same fitting from like 80 years ago. We haven't changed them a bit. That excites you, doesn't it? It kind of does because it makes it a hell of a lot easier to get a uh, kind of, you know, to do this project because we don't have to then go and source a, um, some random expensive antique to make this work. Okay, what else have we got? These are just B22 bayonet uh, cap. LED bulbs, got them on Amazon. I think they were 14 quid for four. Ah. Oh, 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 saved. Oh, wow, good work, saved Mark. It. Good work. I'll put that in there, actually, out of the way. These, again, 100 year old light fittings. Just look at the way that that patina on that there matches this. Okay, it's not identical, but they look right together. Just listen to this. Just just come in here for this, Mark. Just listen to this when you throw it. So definite. We may use those, we may not. We've got them in the shed. Where did I find those? You can buy these as modern fittings from a company in Ireland. 
And let me tell you, they are expensive. These are like 50 pounds a unit, which is like $60, $70 a unit. Where did I get these from? I was rewiring a house with an electrician friend of mine about three years ago. It was my job to crawl under the floorboards and run a few cables in. What did I come across? A whole stash of these that a previous electrician had just dumped under the floor. We may use these, we may not. I just don't know if they're gonna look too clumsy. You know, kind of, you know, they're gonna look a little bit silly, kind of attached to, you know, attached to the top here. I don't know, we'll, we'll, it's just a question mark, but just, we may as well show you them anyway. There's something we love at Dirty Shed, so. So it almost sounds like you don't have a definite plan on how, no, what I you're think doing, Watson. This is gonna be a little bit of a kind of, there's some things that we've gotta do, and I think we're gonna jump into those and get them done, but then there'll be a lot of offering things up and just seeing. So, are you gonna um and ah? Yeah, they'll be umming and ahring. All oh, right, do you reckon there'll be a dropsy? Oh, I'm bound to be, mate. Bound to be. Let's just hope it isn't an expensive one. Yeah. So that's our block. Stop bloody talking and make some shit then. I know. I'm just gonna talk about. I'm just gonna <laughs> let oh, people oh, you know. Oh, you got more talking. We're... Good. Yeah. I'm just gonna let people know how we've got to this point. Cool. Taking an oak block. This is like a air dried piece of oak. It is just under eight inches, so it's uh, seven and three quarter inches square. Cut through it here, cut through it there. We've checked everything, it is square, it's out by a couple of mil. For what this is gonna do, it doesn't matter. Uh, what have we done then? We've sanded it with 80 grit with a belt sander. We've then sanded it with 80 grit on an orbital sander. We've then gone to 100 grit. We've then gone to 120 grit. We've then flamed it. We've then gone to 240 grit and just rounded everything over. Bang, that's what you see in front of you. That's gonna get lacquered. It's had a mild wire brush just to pull out some kind of grain detail, which I think kind of makes them look really good. Um, I think it's gonna make a nice base. It's really heavy, so you know that lamp isn't gonna be falling over and kind of like smashing. Crushing right. small children. Crushing small children. Yeah. I mean, this is about half the size of a child, uh, say a baby child, so, well, you know, kind of gives you an idea of scale. Uh, I think the first job we're going to do is we're going to get on with the blacksmithing which was to make the shepherd's hook or crook sorry shepherd's crook to hang the light off. Uh, let's get this out of the way let's fire up the forge it's a blooming cold day today let's go on let's get on and make that. This bash boy. Yeah. Grab the at end. So we've got Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts. Thank you for your comments, sir. Jay. I'm just going to call him Jay Brew. Ah, oh, Sparky415. We've got Tom Green. That's us. Right. Ooh. How many is there? Uh, There's a foo. 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 people. 17 people in this world want a trace hook. Do you want to maybe go away for a minute and we'll stick these on? And then you could help me and then neither of us know where. Well, I don't I'll want stick me... them on because okay. you're going to throw it. Okay, cool. So... Do you want me to? Here, let me film you then. Cool. Okay. Oh, whoa, guys. Check it out. Crazy, 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 crazy. So here's Uncle Mark. Doing the stuff and the things. Doing the stuff. We need it to be spinning round like a... Can we just clink? Oh, 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 we've lost one. <gasps> so the idea is, Al's gonna throw something sharp at this. Whatever it hits first, will be part, uh, prize winner number one. And you have a week? Seven days. Seven days to get in contact and send us your email address. You can send it directly to our email address, which is on our contact part of our Facebook, uh, Facebook? Uh, sorry, YouTube page. So yeah, one of these lucky winners. What are you throwing at it then? We've got a spade bit, and I think we're just gonna kind of dartboard it. I'm looking here, I know that's there. Well, I think that is this one, which is very, very close. Do we take it as that? Or is that just a rubbishy 
<laughs> yeah, that's number one then. That's number one, okay. So, who have we got here? <laughs> Our good friend, Swert. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Swert, you've won it. Give us a shout, let us know if you want us to kind of put one of our um, shields with a staple on it because it makes it slightly more useful for you rather than just a trace hook. We'll happy to, happily do that and we'll get it in the post to you as soon as you can. You've got seven days to claim it and I hate to say it everyone, I think Swert, he kind of watches our films, he's always first one of the first among you as long as Ronna and Brian as well as everyone else who comments really early on so I think it's probably gone. But we'll give him seven days to claim it from when the film goes out um, and if he doesn't obviously we'll keep this board as is we'll tuck it away in the workshop. Well, we'll do another one now. Do you want to do another we'll, one? We won't show it but you okay. can... Like, looks like <laughs> balls at the moment, but it uh, didn't come right. Got any more stuff that looks like balls? Yeah, I have actually. <gasps> See, why are you withholding those gems? Stuff there. Stuff there, Louis, like balls. <laughs> it's so cold in here, everything's fogging up. Yeah, so we'll just uh, get this. Blah, 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 blah. Have you got stuff that looks like balls? It's oh. not a picture of your actual balls, <laughs> is it? Because we did say we weren't going to do that. Oh my god, yeah! Where did you see that? That is someone's Twitter handle. Oh my god, that looks like balls. That <laughs> really look here, look, let's put them together so that everyone can have like a dual ball fest. Whoa. <laughs> balls. 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 Oh. It's got legs that segment. Yeah, it has. <laughs> this is going to be boring, mate. I'm just going to be swearing at it, so... Do you want to uh, have a look at the lathe? I want to see you swearing. I think everybody wants to see you swearing out. I'm just a little bit annoyed. It's not gone quite as I kind of wanted it. Is it fixable? It. It, well, it is, yeah. It's just, it's just a bit irritating. So I think that there's something wrong there, definitely. need to do is open 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 uh, that maybe just there's a little bit something going a little bit wrong there oh yeah are you happy with this well I think yeah you know the light hanging here let's just look at it the light kind of hanging there what have we got sticking out there we haven't got much we could even maybe take that whole thing back yeah, this way that's what I was yeah, okay. Well, that might fit in the... Just let me grab it there. Yeah, let's... <laughs> okay, fine. We'll let that heat up in there. Let's try and move on to part de... Onto the lathe. Should we have a little look? I've not even seen this before. Yeah, haven't you seen this before? Okay. So let's give the bearings some oil. Cool. Oil all the cups. There we go. So what is this? This is my little Myford. Beautiful little English lathe. Screw cutting lathe as well, so it'll actually cut screw feds. This is going to have pride of place in the new workshop when we get going with that. And I'm really looking forward to that because it's what it deserves. It'll have, it'll be, get a lot more use as well. And what are you gonna do with it today? Uh, we're gonna be machining up a little brass collar that's gonna sit at the top of our, um, at the top of that lighting spigot. And that's gonna allow a ring to kind of attach to that lighting spigot. We've got our spigot for our light. Bosh, bosh, bosh. So, obviously there's no way of attaching this to our hook. 
So the idea is to create a bushing like so with two drilled out sections there which are going to include a forged hanger on it, like so. That's the idea. That's what we're making. This is a crappy picture. got bang on nine and a half mil. So what we're gonna do is drill this at nine and a half mil. Now if this, this piece that I was using has already got a pilot in it, someone's already drilled through it, so it just helps us along a little bit. They've taken out the bolt. This is nine and a half drill bit. There's gonna be a bit of wobble on this, so that might drill it to 9.6 and it might be a nice tight fit. There you go. Quite a nice tight fit, that. Life is good. Since you said the word sexual in the workshop. Sexual. No sex, please, we're British. Okay, so what have we done there, chaps and ladies? That's what we've machined up. That is our little machine part. Now hopefully this will make more sense. This screws onto here. Bang, like so. That's our light fitting attachment. We need some way of getting a something to suspend the lamp from here. How do we do that? This goes on there. We then make something that fits end and end in there, leaving the center free. Does it now make sense? Yes. We're gonna use this to form a loop of steel or we're going to get it to form this shape which is what I thought so I'll let you come over here so we need a tag on both ends there which fits into this part we've just machined but not through it just into it why yeah why not through it because if it goes through it the wires coming up there so we can't go through it, okay. so we've got to have two nibs. Now I think the shape we want is that shape like that. Oh you want a triangle. Kind of triangle. Yeah. Um. Is that it? Is that it? I'm asking you a question. Wow. I think it's gonna work. From stuff that looks like balls to stuff that looks like a staff. Yeah? Do you think that's it? Yeah. I think that's it. Maybe tweaky tweaky it's better. It's aesthetically pleasing, Watson. Yeah. I'll take balls it out now. Uh, is that better? It's stuff that looks like balls again. <laughs> it's gone from good to balls. Hey, have you ever gone from good to balls? Now you can with Al Watson in a stinking shed. There you go. That is us. That has been a nightmare. I'm not no scroll worker. Give it a little, little straighten. Okay, yeah, we'll put that in there so we just, no one has an accident. Still very warm after all that. So this. Yeah, I mean, a circle would work. I mean, a circle, what I'll probably do is if we're going to do a circle, I'll just get something circular and we'll cold form it. What That's, is that? It's round. Oh. <laughs> it's round. Mm. And then... Oh. Uh, this 
one. There's always a dropsy. Yeah, and look. And it was the most expensive thing in the room. Well, the most irreplaceable. <laughs> Head feels like it's full of wine gums and fart dreams. Safe. Ah. Oh, God, what a tube at Humperdinck that was. Can you come and turn that <laughs> thing for me, mate, please? What a ball like. Okay, go on, a bit more. Another one of them. Yeah. Thing. Right. Hopefully that's going to do it now. Oh. Right. That's not quite it finished yet, but there we go. Let's have a look. Uh, so, there we go. Because here at Dirty Shed Creations, we always like to bring you the cutting edge techniques. We're gonna do a little bit of old school soldering. Uh, cutting edge, old school. Hmm. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is we were going to drill in here and put a nice grub screw in there but all the grub screws I've got are stainless so they'll be a modern metric thread and I do think a stainless bolt in there is going to kind of ruin the whole look. We don't have any brass bolts, they'd all be a weird, um, they'd all be a weird thread size so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to solder that onto there. Um, right, so what do we do? We've got our flux here, I'll just give that a stir because it's been in here for a while. The flux, for anyone new to soldering, essentially the flux goes where you want the solder to go. That might seem like a silly way of putting it, but then we take that and we kind of back and forth, try and get that in there, try and get that kind of flux into the joint, push that to where we want it, can come a little bit more. So now we're going to put that in there. So we'll get our solder, just ordinary. What is this? Doesn't have a label on it. It's solder. Nothing fancy. To be honest, we could just use a piece of lead if we were so inclined, but we're not going to go to that point. Okay. So, so. there we've made a bit of a mess that's actually a really good solder you can see it's gone all the way around everywhere we wanted it to go and actually that lamp was made by tinsmithings using soldering techniques very similar to that and obviously done by someone with far more skill than I've got so I think the fact that that's a soldered joint is uh, quite a nice nod to the original way that that lamp was made. Stage, sir. Okay, just just gonna give that a what I term a mild wiping. So let's have a little look at how this hangs. There you go. What do you think? Yeah. Huh? It's quite a nice lamp, isn't it? Uh, I'll move move that out of the way. Or should I? Question everything, kids. 
So I've just pulled some steel out. Oh, did I? Yeah. Yeah, no, I did. Good morning, Fraulein. Good morning. Better turn that off. If you don't want to have copyright issues, well, just in time, actually. Just going <laughs> to let this little bad boy in. But there we go. Looks quite good, that, doesn't it? Are you happy? Yeah. I've sorted out our problem with wiring up. Yeah. Sat there and realised we've got to take the lamp to pieces and wire it up from in here. So it's, it's easily done. I was just like, I was out for the walk. I was going to ring you, and then I thought, no. You'll have had enough of me. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, well, we, you know, we kind of talked yesterday. We were going to put butterflies in it. I'm so pleased we did, because uh, to me, they look bloody amazing, I think. I put a coat of lacquer on that last night. Um, maybe a header where I should have done it, but it's just a case of it's so cold in here today that this lacquer would stay gummy, and if we've got a lot of work to do on it, it's nice to not have a gummy surface. So, what I've done. I've taken the butterfly, positioned it where I wanted it. I've taken a little impact driver and I've screwed that on so it's nice and tight. And then I take a scribe, scribe around the outside, make a nice neat line, unscrew it, take it off, keep that to one side if I've got a load of them so I know which one goes where. And there we go. So now what? Cheers, cheers. No, no, no. No. Freehand routing is the way of the chief. <laughs> Offer this up, just see if we're looking something like, which we are. Trying to get the edges.
so reference. won't you take these chis 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 and learn to fly again learn to fly so free you can have that for your album if you like okay it'll be a b-side oh. Number one for the day. Dropsy number one for the day. There will be more. Are you going to do the switch? I don't think so because I think he's going to look too much. I just think he's going to look clunky, mate. With all of this going on, I'm like, the getting the wire in there is going to be a bit of a problem. And I'm just like, I don't, if I can't see a clean way of doing it, I don't think we need the switch. The switch would be at the socket anyway. So, you know, we might put an inline switch in here or a, you know, but I don't think we're going to, mate. I'm gonna hit it. I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. Let's tip that up. Let's get our light in there. And are you ready? Ready? Zapunga. So you, you're gonna to have to imagine that those in there. It's quite bright, isn't it? It's good. So yeah, there we go. That's better, isn't it? Okay, lights back on. So what have we got to do now? We've got to make our rivets. We'll do those quickly. We'll do those. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, ten. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rivets, please. There's a great big throne behind it. 
Hello Thronad. Thronad the Barbarian. We had all this set up here and so it just made sense to do this portion here. It's freezing in the workshop and basically this stuff won't set. So we want to get this project kind of uh, to the point where Mark can start editing it today. The other reason we're set up to do it in here. I did it last night for two coats. Um, this is a spray finish actually, but the results you can get with a brush are pretty damn good. Just spin that around. <laughs> I like to use tins of dog food as a, uh, as a base to my painting. We didn't want this to be high sheen. I don't like that high yacht varnishy finish. This doesn't seem to be very popular here in the UK at the moment. Up the corners. Again, we will look for our drippies. All right, and that is us. We'll leave that now, pop that in its solvents. And a cup of coffee. Boom! <gasps> we're back. We're back. We were set up for the lacquering here. And as you can see, I mean, we're, what are we, 20 minutes further on than when we lacquered? And this is already touch dry. So what we're going to do now is we are going to affix all our bits and pieces. Uh, we'll take it off the stand of dog food. We've got a little spaniel helper today, little Juniper. You say hello, Juniper. Hey. Juniper, speak. Oof. Speak. Oh, hey. Come on then. Uh, I think we'll have you off the dining table, please. Uh, excuse me. Get down. She's playing up for the camera. <laughs> Go on then, get down. Get down. Go on. I'm not going to talk about epoxy. We've already done that. Really briefly, we mix equal parts, blah, blah, blah. We wax stuff together, we bash it in. That's how you use epoxy. There, we did one and we came back up and then we came back down. That means you are five and you are one. And I think we started up here, didn't we, Marky? Didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. So, tappy tappy. There's a very serious looking doggy behind you. Yeah, I know. I dare say she's like, well, hang on then. Take me out for, take me out for my walkie because the thing after my walkie, the next thing after my walkie, daddy, is my tea. And that's what she's, she's, she's very interested in that kind of thing. She's a food based dog. So I put a little bit of epoxy on there and bosh. We're not going bananas. There's no structural element to this, so I'm just trying to work as quite fast as I can with the, okay. Fast as I can with the epoxy so it doesn't go off. So which one is this? This one is two. Let me just double check which orientation. It's like that. We're just going to make some little kind of metal clips that clip around here to hold that wire tight to the edge of the uh, Shepherd's Crook support. Um, yeah, and I think other than that, bang, done. Another project. 
really appreciate your comments on this one. Uh, if anyone's doing something similar or if anyone's got kind of some other ideas, you know, let us know. Uh, this summer we'll be going, to, I'll be certainly going to all the car boot sales and I'll be looking out for things like this because I think this is probably, we'll, we'll probably end up doing quite a few more lamps. I mean, if they're very similar to this, we're not going to do them as a, um, as a film, but uh, we come across an unusual light fitting or, or something that we can, can be turned into a light fitting, I think this is something we'll probably return to. So, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, stick your comments below. Um, yeah, thank you. Ask, ask people to recommend us. Oh, recommend us to your friends, all your friends, even if they don't like maker films. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like, comment, subscribe, get your friends to subscribe, get your parents to subscribe. Grandparents are an untapped market, get them to subscribe. We need more subscribers uh, and we'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Stuff that looks like balls!